purposely went out and found some of these bigger aluminum cans because that's supposed to be the maximum size that this thing can do. So I wanted to be able to test it with that. Piece of cake. No problem. Now I've got this set up to where I can use it on my bench tops or sitting over top of a trash can like it is now. And you probably notice these extra pieces of wood here and there. They are here because one of the knocks, I guess you could call, on the comments on this particular uh, style of can crusher is that they can break loose down here. Uh, the welds will let go, or the seams let go, um, and then it cracks and then it causes all kinds of problems. So the theory being is I've got these blocks mounted on both ends uh, to provide support so this can't flex and hopefully it won't break off. One thing I do want to do differently is I'm going to need to get some kind of like a little pigtail uh, line for here because of where this is at it's very difficult I shouldn't say very but it, it can be a challenge to get the hose connected and on my newer hose like this that has this I don't know what you would call it. <clears throat> this thing on here to protect the fitting so it, it doesn't come uh, loose or damage from the hose. Uh, it will not allow it to get close enough to fit onto the inlet. So if I want to be able to use one of my newer hoses, uh, I'm going to have to get a little pigtail or something that will stick it way out here so that it'll be easier to get it in and out. But other than that, so far this thing is working as advertised. Thanks to one of my neighbors for giving me all these cans. Now, it's uh, the directions say you should have it set between 90 and 100 PSI off of the compressor. I have it set at 95 right now. And like I said, this is probably the biggest size can we're gonna see in this and it handles it no problem. Hope this helps you make a decision on whether or not you think you might want to get one and how you might want to mount it. So thanks for watching. I'll put a link to this uh, at Amazon in the description. And right now I'd give it five out of five stars. But we'll see how it holds up over time. Thanks for checking in. And we'll see you next time.